This week on Theme Park Bar, we're heading to Disney Springs to recreate the only drink named after Indiana Jones' own Fancy Daddy. It is, of course, coming to you from Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, and it is going to be the Scottish Professor. Junior! Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. Doc Lindsay's Hangar Bar, as most of you know, is the Indiana Jones themed cocktail lounge located at Disney Springs. It's riddled with amazing Easter eggs and references all throughout the decor and inside the drink menu itself. This week's cocktail, The Scottish Professor, is going to be named after Dr. Henry Jones Sr., Indy's Papa from The Last Crusade. Professor Jones was played by Sean Connery, who is probably the only man more badass than Indiana Jones himself, mostly because it's Sean freaking Connery. The drink is a perfectly crafted tribute to the legendary actor, paying homage not only to his role in the indie franchise, but a nice subtle wink to his time as the original, and I think best, 007. Combining the wonderful flavors of a blended whiskey and a floral gin, the Scottish Professor is the perfect cocktail to enjoy while celebrating discovering the location of the Holy Grail, or to take the edge off of an intense poker game just a little bit. Here's what you're going to need. 3 fourths of an ounce of blended scotch, 3 fourths of an ounce of gin, two ounces of pear nectar, a quarter ounce of lemon juice, and half an ounce of simple syrup. Scotch is a fantastic spirit. I love this stuff, but it doesn't get used too often in cocktails. I know a lot of people who get intimidated by whiskeys as well, and especially when it comes to what they're ordering. The short and easy answer to what makes scotch different than just plain whiskey is that it can only be made and bottled in Scotland and it has to be aged for three years. That's pretty much the short and sweet of it. Today I'm gonna to be using Monkey Shoulder which is a blended scotch. Pretty much all that means is this scotch is gonna be made from, well, a different blend of different scotch whiskeys, coming from different distillers, using their own recipes and aging techniques. All right, so let's go ahead and make the Scottish Professor here. We're gonna start with our mixing glass full of ice. After we have our ice in there, we're gonna do 3 fourths of an ounce of our blended scotch. From there, it's going to be three quarters of an ounce of a floral gin. I'm using the Botanist today. Over at Jack Lindsay's, they use Hendrix. It's going to be all pretty much the same. You just want something that's going to be very botanical forward, meaning you want to taste a lot of the herbs that are inside the gin. There's stuff out there called dry gin, which is going to be just juniper. Uh, Botanist, Hendrix, floral gins like that are going to feature cucumber, a um, bunch of different spices, uh, rose petal is inside the botanist, so there's a whole slew of flavors in there on top of the standard juniper. So we have our three-fourths of an ounce of gin, we have our scotch, we're going to follow that up with two ounces of pear nectar, a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice, and lastly, just to add a little bit of sweetness, we're going to do half an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup is very easy to make. It's just equal parts water and sugar brought up to a boil until the sugar is dissolved. Easy peasy, right? Go ahead and seal her up and give her a good shake. With uh, whiskey and gin drinks, you're normally going to stir it, but because there is citrus brought into it, you're going to want to shake to emulsify everything there. That's one of those bar rules I didn't make up. It's just kind of a simple rule of thumb to follow. So we're gonna get our serving glass now. We're gonna serve this inside of a coupe. We're also gonna take pouring this drink one step further. Instead of just straining it, we're actually gonna get another uh, mesh strain and do what's called a double strain. This is gonna catch all those ice shards and the pulp from the pear nectar. This is gonna give your drink a much smoother consistency. And of course, you're gonna need a garnish on there, so we're gonna throw a lemon wheel. And there we go, guys. The cocktail named after Papa Jones himself, the Scottish Professor. We got our blended Scotch whiskey, our botanical forward gin, pear, a little bit of lemon. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Mm. I'm gonna drop this lemon in there. Really really rich flavors coming out of there oh man this is good this is a far departure from most of the cocktails we've had on the show already 
You get a little bit of the smokiness that comes from the scotch. We have four ingredients in here, not counting the simple syrup because it doesn't really count. But there is so much depth of flavor in this glass. Mm. You can taste the hints of, of the rose from the botanist. A little cucumber finish at the end there. Like I said, you got the smoky aroma from the scotch. The pear nectar really, really is a nice touch. It's not something you see featured in cocktails too often, so it's a, it's a fun little surprise, if you will. Not too tart, not too sweet. It almost has a creamy consistency going on, which is really interesting, really good. Mm. And you see we served it inside of a coupe glass. This is what they serve it in at Jock Lindsay's. I've also seen them use something called a Nick and Nora glass, which is just essentially a tall version of a coupe. If you don't have either of those, you can use a standard cocktail glass or a martini glass. If you don't have one of those, uh, just pour it into a standard rocks glass. Really, the glassware has no effect on the flavor. It's just all about presentation. And if you're enjoying this in your home, you do what makes you comfortable. Hmm. This is, this is incredibly good. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Theme Park Bar. If you haven't done so already, become one of my bar regulars today by subscribing to the channel and let me know down in the comments below if there are any cocktails you want to see recreated here on the show. You can also follow the links down below to pick up the brand new Theme Park Bar t-shirt to support the show in style. You can chat with me all over social media, Twitter and Instagram, both at Theme Park Bar. And you can find all my past videos and recipes over at ThemeParkBar.com. Remember when you're going out to please always be safe, to drink responsibly, and never forget to tip your bartenders. And if you're thinking if something's a good idea or not, just ask yourself, what would Indiana Jones do? Chances are, he'd probably punch it in the face. Until next time, guys. Cheers.